Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project and Magnetic Reversal News, bringing you a Grand Solar Minimum update Tuesday, March 10th, 3 p.m. Mountain Time, 2020. The models are showing heavy snow as we get into March. Take a look at that. And we'll look at another model a little later on. But the snow appears to not be stopping as we approach April. It's time to cancel everything. Keep calm. It's boom time. You're in the right place. The official snow depth in Eau Claire has reached the ground. The unofficial end of winter, but snow is in the forecast for Wisconsin. And boom, eight inches of fresh powder at Wolf Creek is tonight's first boom. We needed it. We need a few more feet, actually. And it looks like they're coming in the next seven days, a few more feet. Colder weather patterns, snow could return to the plains and west into mid-March. As the east remains mild, we'll be pummeled. Heavy snow is moving into Vancouver right now. Snow and colder air could move into parts of the West and Plains later this week. Temperatures will be above average in the East through the week ahead, which is good news for people trying to plant food, especially if you're trying to stay home and safe. Low pressure developing near the Pacific Northwest is the culprit. And we'll get to the models in just a minute. There we go. Drama-free weather week, shovable shovelable that's a word shovelable snow next week don't put your shovels away kids and here's the snowfall analysis from the last 24 hours no snow in the east all the snow is in the west including nebraska picking up a tippy touch we're going to keep a close eye on these models and let's just walk it through the next few days heavy snow in british columbia will be moving down into the cascades and then we have a system that's going to pop up little snow for the southern sierras which they need a little bit for Utah, and then the Rocky Mountains all the way through will be buried by next weekend. We could be picking up another foot and a half here, and we need several more. Then the system moves right through the center of the U.S. with light snow Sunday into Monday. More snow for the West Virginia Mountains and northern Maine. It's insane. It's going to continue snowing until April, maybe into April for many areas. Here's the CMC model. Showing that system moving east with uh, slightly deeper totals. So we could be seeing 8 to 12 inches here in Nebraska and Kansas based on the CMC model. And that would be Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Right there you can see the CMC model. Another system bringing some heavy snow up to 16 inches up into Minnesota and South Dakota. Say it ain't soda. It's just a model. But the models are looking Pretty impressive. Thunderstorms and heavy rain in the desert southwest. Heavy rain spreads into the mid-south midweek. <whistles> a slow-moving weather system will produce several days of periodic heavy rain in the desert southwest. Strong to isolated severe thunderstorms with damaging winds also possible. And the ground is saturated in that region. So that's a heads up. Isolated to severe storms with damaging winds and large hail in the southern plains and lower Mississippi Valley. Heavy rain may develop midweek in the Mid-South. Click on your county for more information. Go to weather.gov and be a Weather Ready Nation ambassador. The Scottish Ski Resort experiencing its best season in six years. 13 plus feet of snow in three weeks. Bury ski lifts and equipment. On the back of last week's fraudulent climate change has finished us off. Claims of one Scottish ski operator who laughably lamented, we just have mud. Despite web webcams proving otherwise, the operators of another and nearby Scottish snow sports center have been revealed they're actually enjoying the best snow conditions in six years. So depends on where you are, and it depends on what you're reporting on, what you're going to report, basically. Avalanches kill at least six in the Australian Alps as global warming goodness suffocates man. Maybe in women. All that global warming. Seismic update. We have a moderate uptick in moderate quakes worldwide. Interesting tremor up here. 2.7 Orchard Beach, Maine. I'm sure people are like, what was that? Mid-ocean ridges spreading. No other quakes of note. Some activity in Hawaii. Pretty typical. Worldwide volcano news update. All the pertinent volcanoes are puffing at their allotted height. Sabin Kaya puffing to 27,000, Popo to 21,000, so on and so forth. Check the link for more details. 
Now, take a look at this unbelievable picture of lightning merging with an erupting volcano wins the perfect moment photo contest. And this is a perfect moment. Take a look at that. Now, if you're wondering what this is, this is an eruption of Chile's Calbuco volcano. And someone got the best picture ever. There it is. Take a look at that and just soak it in. I'll leave you links to the article for you to enjoy the picture. You can even download it and save it. Use it as the cover photo maybe for this video. Extreme weather events expose vulnerability of crops globally. Huh. Wow, they must have been watching our channel. Volatile weather causing production losses in several nations. Climate change signals risks of high food prices, economists say. The world is on course to record its warmest winter ever. Unsettling global crop production and raising the risk of food inflation. Now, there's a reason. And I'll give you a sneak peek. Take a look at that. Gorgeous. That's your polar vortex shot of the day. And it was live. Surprise, Earth and the moon aren't made of exactly the same stuff. Well, that's news? Who wrote this? Oh, space.com. They must have just got the memo. But let's talk about real science. <laughs> In case you didn't know, the moon is, consists mostly of anorthosite, which is a plagioclase type feldspar which is very similar to the Adirondacks. Now, the Adirondacks is an unexplained uplift of mafic igneous rock and orthosite. Well, actually, it's, yeah, it's kind of mafic. And they believe that the Adirondacks may be a chunk of a protoplanet that hit the moon, left some of the moon, and hit the Earth a long time ago. And now, coming out, 4.5 billion years ago, something the size of Mars collided with a newly formed Earth to a colossal effect. This object is not only thought to have fused with Earth, the Adirondacks, and primed it for life, it also broke off a large chunk that went on to become the moon. And that's a moon boom, with a chunk of it in northern New York. So if you've never been to the Adirondacks, you can actually walk on the moon, maybe. Research on soldier ants reveals that evolution can go in reverse. We've covered this. It's not linear. It doesn't go up, up, and away. We are not the peak of civilization. We might be the dumbest group of humans to ever live the earth. We bury trash in holes. We dump our poop into the rivers and streams that we drink. And we inject radioactive toxic waste into the ground. Awesome group of people living here. It's amazing. Solved the mystery of the expansion of the universe. Only problem is that it's not solved. I mean, this is just a lie. The Big Bang theory is a theory. That's it. And most of the evidence coming out in the last decade is proving it incorrect. Yet, we still teach it to our children, even though it's wrong. Isn't that hilarious? Wow. Spaceship could surf supernovas across universe at nearly light speed, Harvard study proposes. This is the state of science. It's nonsense. <laughs> and they're baffled. But a spaceship could surf a supernova across the universe at light speed, according to Harvard. Hmm. Well, these are the facts. The polar vortex is locked in. It is exceptionally tight. And that means warm weather, moderate, mild weather for everyone in the mid-latitudes. Until this baby breaks down, and apparently a small bulge is going to move into the U.S. over the coming week. But as we enter spring, this vortex will switch position to the South Pole. And game on. It's going to just blend all that virus up or whatever. Hope you got something out of the video. I have to go buy seeds. It's that time of year. We're going to be doing a video, Leah, Alan, and I, on Thursday. And we're going to be doing some seed mixes, some erosion control, and all kind of awesome stuff. Yesterday, Alan and I planted tons and tons of seeds in the greenhouse. Maybe we'll do a video on that while we plant more seeds for spring starts so we can survive and thrive as everyone gets locked down. Hope you got something out of the video. Now's the time to start growing your own food. 
because there may not be food in the markets. Coming soon. Be safe. We love you.